So we're going to talk about fast food. And that's going to be the first uh, thing we're going to talk about and make it simple for everyone. If I'm going too fast on what I say, please feel free to pause the video and repeat the stuff to yourself. So we're going to start with an hamburguesa or a hamburger. In English, we say hamburger. In Spanish, we say hamburguesa or la hamburguesa. How you want to use this in a sentence? If you go to a restaurant and say, ¿Puedo tener una hamburguesa? ¿Me das una hamburguesa? You're basically saying, I want a hamburger. I'm going to say it really slow so you guys can get it. Quiero una hamburguesa. I want a hamburger. Next thing we're going to do comes with a hamburger. It's going to be fries. So with French fries, we call them in English French fries. In Spanish, we say las papas fritas. Las papas fritas. As you can see, uh, we say las papas fritas. You're going to say fritas. Next, cheeseburger is going to be a little bit different from a uh, hamburger. In Spanish, it's going to be la hamburguesa con queso. In a restaurant, they're going to ask you, ¿Qué quieres? O ¿Cuál quieres? ¿Cuál quieres? And you say, yo quiero la hamburguesa con queso. Basically saying, I want the uh, cheeseburger. Next word is going to be iced tea. O el té helado. Iced tea. El té helado. You say el té helado. El té helado. Iced tea. And then if you say quick, el té helado. In Spanish, we don't pronounce the H's, by the way. I know, I know you see the H. In English, you always go... You are tempted to say helado, but it's not. In Spanish, we don't really pronounce our H's, but they're in there. Next word we're going to do is going to be hot dog. Everybody knows hot dogs. Uh, in Spanish, you say el perro caliente. Hot dog can be said in Spanish or in English. El perro caliente. El perro caliente. Next is going to be pizza. La pizza. Note that not everything in Spanish will have la in front of it or el. Keep in mind that in Spanish you have feminine and masculine. So pizza is a feminine. That's why it's got la. It's a feminine. Anything that ends with an a usually is going to be a feminine uh, word. Frozen yogurt. El yogurt helado. El yogurt helado. Or you can just say el yogurt. You don't have to say the T at the end if you don't want to. You can just say el yogurt helado. El yogur helado. Milkshake. La malteada. La malteada. La malteada. Straw. El popote o sorbeto. Straw can go with two different ones. El popote. Or straw can be sorbeto. You can say, ¿Puedo tener un popote? ¿Tienes un popote? Ketchup. Ketchup, it's universal. You can say this in Spanish. As you can say it in English, they will understand you. The word you want to use is la salsa katsu. That's the one you want to use, and that's the one you want to keep. If you want to say ketchup, you can say that. Everyone will understand that. Just say la salsa katsu. Bacon. El tocino. El tocino. To ask what is the soup of the day, you say, ¿Cuál es la sopa del día? Waffles is los waffles. O los waffles. You can say either one, and they'll understand you. Syrup, el jarabe. O el jarabe. Pancakes. Now this one is a little bit tricky to say. In Spanish, we say los panqueques. Pan, que, ques. Coffee, el café. Now that one is really simple. You can go to any restaurant, or you can go to a faster restaurant if you want to, and you can ask for a cup of coffee. Say, un café, tea. T is really simple, same thing. We don't have a word in Spanish. You read this, el te. Don't say the A at all, just say te. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want a different video or a new version of it or anything else, let me know what you guys want to learn. Leave a like, share it.